Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and I've decided to make some scenery. Um, I've got two jungle based um, army for bolt action. I've got, well I've got quite a bit of, of, of jungle scenery um, for the games I play against uh, my regular gaming opponents, uh, Japanese. Um, I've not really added to it. I'm not. I'm not really a big terrain builder. It's something I'd love to do a lot more of, but I don't really build terrain unless I have to. Um, but a couple of weeks back, I made a, a very short video about what I what I use for for trees and logs, and it's it's these things. They're called willow willow edging or willow edges, um, and they're just like miniature logs. So I was looking at these and I thought, oh, surely I can do a bit more with these than I have been doing. So I thought, well, what about what about log bunkers? Um, that might be quite easy to make. Um, so what, I've, what I've, I've set myself the challenge is making a very simple rudimentary log bunker um, just from bits and pieces that I can find on my, my hobby shelves. So no buying in extra materials, uh, anything like that. It's all got to be from what I can find or forage from my own hobby shelves. So that's gonna be what this video is about. So it, it's not gonna be anything complicated or anything like that. It's just gonna be a very simple uh, log bunker that I can use um, for uh, games of bolt action in our Pacific games. I'm not gonna be putting a roof on. I might come back and do that later on, um, but as I'm not the greatest and most prolific of, uh, of terrain builders, Let's take, let's take some small steps before adding a roof. So what I'm gonna do is just talk about what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be going away, doing it, filming. If you've seen some of the videos I've done like this in the past, I don't like to film massive, great, big, long, hour, hour and a half long uh, videos. So I'm not gonna be building anything um, live, as it were. I'm gonna be showing you the bits and pieces that um, I'm gonna be using, what I intend to do, go away, do it, and then come back and show you. So what's the plan? Well, this is the base. Um, this is just um, the backing from an old, an old, an old picture. It's quite tough, sort of reinforced um, cardboard, but it's really quite sturdy. And then I've got the willow edging. So the plan is to build this up on three sides. Uh, what I'm going to do is make it sort of three high. So using my assistant here this um us marine we can see that three would just be the right height to represent a bunker as you can see from there so what i need to do is work out what what plan or what how i'm going to layer these so i'm going to do it three deep with some supports as well um for me that, that that's the biggest part is getting that down once that's down i can start then looking at the inside and the outside. What I eventually want to do is build up, build up the outside using filler and flock it. As people have seen any of my painting videos before, I like to keep things very simple. And I'm going to do exactly the same for my terrain. Um, just keep it very, very simple, get it to the tabletop quickly. So what I'm going to do now is go away and work out. Well, I think I, I, think I know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to build up the, um, the logs that are going to make the very basic outline of the bunker. Uh, once that's done, I will be back and I'll show you what I've done. So I shall see you all very soon. Right, welcome back. And that is the basic bunker formation done. I'll be honest, it's it's not the best. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it's it looks OK, I guess. For a, fir for a first effort of building anything like this, I'm probably being a bit too harsh on myself. I mean, it's a basic bunker shape. Um, what you can see as well is that I I increased it from three to a height of four. I think it just looked a bit better that way. But what I can do is I can fit an entire eight-man section in there. Um, that hole will obviously be filled in um, the next stage. Uh, I've, I deliberately didn't want to have it really, really neat and tidy. So the the cuts are quite rough, as if the, the logs were just you know hacked into shape and and, and, and you know bound together and used really quickly to, to make the bunker. Uh, what things did I learn while doing it? Well, one, I would have used super glue rather than the um, 
that sort of mid-range glue that I used to put this together. It said it was fast, fast bonding and solid. Yeah, I would, I would disagree slightly with their statement uh, on both counts there. It took a while for this to actually dry and there was glue everywhere. I had to go back in afterwards and really <clears throat> pull out large globules of glue. You can probably see a few in between. Um, but yeah, there was, a, there was a lot of glue. And the inside's not going to matter around the bottom because it's going to be covered anyway, but there was a lot. But that's the... So it's nice and nice and strong. I did have to go and do a, a few... When it was, it was dry, there was a few bits I hadn't quite set properly, so I did go in and make some running repairs with super glue. But that's the basic bunker shape as it is. So what's next? Um, working on the outside. Let's get the camera back. What I'm going to be using is just this all-purpose filler. I've got loads of this. It's really cheap and dead easy to use. And I'm going to mix it with some of this quite fine grit just to give it a bit of... Um, a, a, a bit more coarseness. So what I'm going to do is just not too high, just build up uh, around the edges, around the outside, just to give it a sort of um, a, a layered look. Um, so I'm going to go away and do that now and then probably leave it to dry overnight. It's probably the sensible thing to do. Uh, once that's done, I will come back and show you the next stage. So I shall see you in a little bit. Okay, so it's the next day <clears throat> and the... Um, the filler that I applied last night has fully dried and is rock solid. I didn't put nearly enough grit into it as I wanted, um, as it's it's 99% filler. <laughs> but it's going to be largely covered anyway, so I'm, it's it's not not too much of a pain that I didn't put enough in. So that's all been built up around all four sides of the uh, the log bunker, as you can see. Now, extra details I've added. I've added grit to the, the sort of entrance way into the bunker. But I made a decision last night or this morning to add um, planks. Um, rather than just having sort of uh, dirt at the bottom of the bunker, I thought, I thought I'd add some planks um, just to make it look as if they've, they've, put, they've hurriedly put some planks down as like, you know, give the, uh, the bunker a bit of steadiness underfoot plus it saves me from having to glue a load of grit onto a, a large surface. It's going to fall off during gameplay if it's not secure properly. Uh, yeah, it's it, that would be a headache for me. So cutting corners as always. I've just added some. I just balsa wood strips. I know what I've done. I've added some damage. So I've cut them up a bit, make it look like they've been walked over. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it also gives the. Um, a little bit of extra height so the dudes can see out over the uh, over the parapet of the bunker right so what's next i need to paint the whole thing now the the beauty of these logs i don't need to paint them they they look natural so i'm going to leave them i'm probably going to scrape off a bit of the um where the plaster has, has dried unnaturally it doesn't like mud on there so i'm going to be scraping that off but for the most part the uh, the logs are going to be left as they are um the uh, the banks and the well everything inside so the the planks the the walk the entranceway and the um the embankments are going to be painted brown i'm not going to show you me, me doing that it's very very dull it's just me painting some brown acrylic paint over some uh, some plaster not exactly enthralling entertainment by any stretch of the imagination now what i'm more interested in is when it's dried what am i going to do with it now normally with <clears throat> excuse me with at my jungle terrain i use mixed herbs i just splat splash them all over but I don't think it's going to work in this case. This this mud will have been dug up and and you know and built up against the bunker. So I'm not going to use mixed herbs. So I'm in I'm in two minds what I'm what I'm going to use. Now I found this on my my shelf, um, and you know what I'm I'm not quite sure what it is. <laughs> it's been given to me at some point, um, but it's like it. it I, it looks like you'd see you'd see stuff on a forest floor. So what I might do is use that just to just to paint it, put a little PVA in, and splatter this all over it. But I was going to get quite uh, adventurous and use this, mix the two together, and put it through my uh, <laughs> through my food blender. <laughs> yeah, 
great use of household uh, household items there food blender no I, I'd, that's something i'm considering so i might i'm going to experiment with that i'm not because i'm not 100 sure what i'm going to do um, with the painting and the details so the next stage will be a complete surprise to both yourself and me i'm really not sure what's going to happen um so once i've got that down i'm going to be adding just the, the basic details so a few uh tufts um a bit of clump foliage some some leaves that i've got hanging around um and that'll be that so what i'm going to do is go away have a bit of a think drink some coffee listen to some metal and make a decision so i shall be back and you will see what i will have done with it next so i shall see you soon and that is the log bunker finished um let's get the camera change here a closer look at exactly what i've done here do, 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 do. right so there is the finished bunker so what you'll see is that that strange material i found uh, which i still don't know what it is um, was absolutely brilliant what all I did was applied it with PVA to the entire embankment and just pressed it really deeply into the uh, into the um, the filler underneath and it's compacted like compacted dirt and mud and earth and it's really quite really quite stable um, I was going to apply a, a, a sort of light spray of watered down PVA but I don't think I'm going to need to it, it's re it really has compacted really well what you notice as well is I haven't gone over the top with the sort of embellishment so there's, there's, there's just a little bit of clump foliage on there that, that's just literally to give it a little bit of colour um, more than anything else uh, I was thinking about adding you know tropical looking leaves and stalks but I thought this is a bunker it's been it's been built out of the earth they, they'd have been chopped down and moved away so um no I, I didn't i didn't add them plus i could probably get away with using this in games of bolt action set in europe as well so by not adding the sort of overly jungle-esque um plants from uh, foliage etc yeah i've now got a bunker that i can use in two different theaters uh so all you see is the um the, the, the um, panelled or the, the planked floor I've just dry brushed it quite roughly um, just to bring out the sort of the grain I don't want to do too much on it it's not it's not really a central point of the uh, of the piece so I didn't want to spend too much time on it but let's add some um, marines I definitely think that's going to do a job uh, in games of bolt action in fact I think I've got a couple of so here's two uh, SS in autumn camouflage and it doesn't look out of place So I'm quite, I'm quite chuffed that I've managed to get, <laughs> quite by accident, uh, set out to build a Pacific um, log bunker. And I've got one for both the Pacific and Europe. Happy days. Well, I hope you enjoyed that How I Make video. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions about this or gaming in general, just pop them in the comments section below. And I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. Uh, down there you'll also find a link to our new Facebook group. So feel free to uh, to wombo along, join the group and show us what you're working on, uh, what you're playing. And just generally get involved in a big gaming chit chat. But as always, thanks for watching. Uh, do take care. May your dice roll well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So bye bye for now.